is up guys, my name is Mark Tenry and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog guys. In here is an RC car that I've been searching far and wide for. I know that sounds weird. Like I, I literally just grinded it out looking at every single online website I could find, trying to find these things. I had to pull some strings, but my friends at Beach RC came through for me on this one. But let me show you what it is and then I'll explain. Of course, freaking forgot my knife, dang it. Now this is one of the last ones they had. So I'm curious to know the condition it's in. I wonder if it's all beat up. I mean, no Beach RC, it's probably pristine, but we will find out. I love their tape, look. It says Beach RC on it, that's freaking awesome. I need some MSM tape, that would be pretty sweet. Oh, jeez. He really, really, he took care of this one. Beach RC, of course he includes stickers. Oh, and include a candy. I could actually use some candy right now. I have a sweet tooth. I actually really, really, really like candy. It's one of my weaknesses. Mmm, tropical Sour Patch Kids money. Boom, guys. The Losi 22 drag truck. So if you're wondering why. Still got sour patch in my mouth. Mmm, that was a good flavor. Why I've been searching so long and hard for this freaking truck is because right now, for that Christmas and July sale at Horizon, they're selling them for $149. By the time I actually saw the sale, everywhere was already sold out. Uh, AMA and Horizon, those are the two main people that I shot with. However, I do shop with Beach RC a lot also. And Beach RC didn't actually have the price already knocked down all the way down to the 149. I think it was set at like 199. My guess is these are gonna be discontinued. But I called my buddies at Beach and I was like, hey, do you have some in stock? And I knew the answer. I knew they were gonna honor the price, the sales price that Horizon had. And I said, and if you have some in stock, will you sell it at the sales price? And they were like, absolutely. So they had a couple in stock. Um, I ended up getting one of them. However, I have more on the way. I ended up figuring out that you could back order some at Horizon also. And there were also other companies that were letting you back order them. So I don't know if I'm gonna get the back order ones, but I did order a couple more because I think this is such an incredible deal. We're gonna open this thing up and I'll tell you why it's an incredible deal other than the obvious that it was only 159 bucks. I just had my knife. Did I leave it? What? While I'm opening this, I'll show you guys the box panels. But this is the Losi drag truck. It is a brushless ready to run truck. It does not come with a battery and charger. However, it does come with everything else and it is brushless. So you should, in theory, be able to just throw batteries in the receiver or in the, the remote, a battery in the car and go ripping. It's got these beautiful paint schemes, the low C garage paint scheme and then the yellow Magnaflow paint scheme. Now I got the Magnaflow paint scheme, but I'm trying to get a couple of both colors. Oh man, I love it when they do this. Thank you so much for including batteries. They included batteries with the kit. Here it is right here. They got AA batteries is what I mean, not actual lipos, but. Sorry, Charlie. Ooh, almost got my dog. Look at how clean this thing is. Oh my God. I love the stance of drag cars. They just look so sick. Lowered, big old tires, big old steamroller tires in the back. Here she is. In all her glory, look at that. It is so freaking clean. This body looks absolutely insane. A little, oh. Plastic rippage for you. Oh, this thing looks sick. So this drag car is based on the Low C22 platform. If you're unfamiliar with the Low C22 platform, it is their 10 scale buggy, which makes total sense. A lot of the Higher end drag cars also do that. The 22 buggy is a great buggy. Uh oh, oh, that's right. This one comes with lights also, which is really, really nice. Get the body off. Oh man, this car is beautiful. It's so simple. A 6,500 kV brushless system. Looks like it's using the IC5 connectors, connectors, which is nice. I don't have to do any conversions there. It comes stock with a light kit on the body. Looks like it's headlights. I don't know, nope, no tail lights, but headlights, which is really, really cool. This body actually has a little bit of weight to it, which is good because you want it to be durable. It does have an aluminum or metal chassis and these awesome Mickey Thompson tires. The servo in here is the, it looks like the 
909S. I'm sure it's not a really high-end servo. I think these they're only like 16 bucks or something like that. But it's got this big old beefy wheelie bar where you can adjust the height of the wheelie bar using this camber link here. You can adjust it moving it and you can do fine adjustment by adjusting the length of the turnbuckle. Very, very, very nice car. Love the rubber battery straps. Nothing overly complex there. And it opens up the opportunity to put any type of battery you want in there thickness wise. Luckily, I got those batteries that I unboxed on a couple of videos ago, and they're actually drag racing batteries. That's what we're gonna throw in here and try it out. Now, this is a 100 amp ESC, and it will run two or 3S LiPo. I'm not gonna run it on 3S because I'm actually gonna use this to do some no prep drag racing. I think I'm gonna start a little no prep drag racing RTR fun league slash list racing, kind of like Street Outlaws. I've always wanted to do it, and it seems like there's a lot of people in my area that have the interest in doing it. And I think it'd be fun to have just a list of RTR parts you have to run or power systems and stuff like that or cars you have to run and just do some list racing. I love Street Outlaws when it first came out. So if you're asking why I think this is such an amazing deal right now, first off, right off the bat, it's a beautiful car. It retailed, I believe it retailed for $459, something around there. It's like $450, $500. Bucks. I'll put the exact cost down below. But $459, $475, it retailed for that. Now it's only $150. That's an insane discount, needless to say. Even if you don't like the car, and the main reason why I wanted it is you can strip the electronics off of it, and it's worth way more in just electronics alone, not even including the car. And what I mean by that is the brushless system is $110. Bucks. Great brush system. I love the Spectrum brushless systems. It's a 100 amp ESC that you can run two or three S LiPo on it, and it's 6,500 kV. That is a great speed run slash fast basher brushless system. It also comes with a dual protocol transmitter and receiver. And what I mean by that is, is it comes with the Spectrum SR315 receiver that can bind up to either an SLT remote or a DSM remote. Some of the older versions would only bind up to SLT, meaning it wouldn't bind up to the other Spectrum radio systems. However, this one does. So the receiver can be used in several different vehicles. It's gonna be a great multi-purpose receiver. Brushless system, amazing. The servo, not the greatest servo, but it's gonna be a perfect servo for a drag car. You don't need that much torque on an RTR drag car. Now I say on an RTR drag car, because if you've got one of those cars that are pushing a lot of power that are doing sub one and a half second quarter miles, you will want some torque. However, for RTR drag racing, it's perfectly fine. Aside from the electronics, this body, if you were to buy this body just how it is, it retails for 115 bucks. So this is a brand new body. You're basically paying for the almost the price of the body and the servo and you're getting everything free. And then the tires, this is at least a $50 tire package with your Mickey Thompson slicks and your skinnies in the front. So where I'm going with this is parts alone, this car is worth well over 150 bucks. Now you're probably wondering if you can still get them. For a while you could back order these trucks on Low Seat slash Horizon. I say Low Seat slash Horizon because when you log into Low Seat side, it actually brings you to the Horizon side. However, Today, as of today, whenever I check, you could not back order these anymore. So it looks like they're completely discontinued. However, they do have the Summit Camaro and you can back order that one. So I'll put a link in the description. Go see if you can back order the car. If you can get it for 150 bucks, I mean, you really can't beat it. Worst case scenario is I'm, I do a build, I do a custom build on something and I need some type of power system or, or electronics or anything and I have it. As for this one, I am actually gonna race it. Another really, really good deal that they had Christmas in July wise is the, just the 22 roller. The 22 drag car roller was only 69 bucks. I'll also put a link in the description for that one. Those are available still. I know Beach RC still has some. But yes, guys, I am so excited about this truck. I know it's weird. It's, it's just a simple discontinued RTR, but I, something about getting a really, really good deal on an RC car makes it even more intriguing and exciting for me. I'll put links in the description for everything that I see available now. Go check it out. If you can find them, go find them. If you have a local hobby shop, go to your local hobby shop. If they have it in stock, they can sell it at the 159 or the 149 price. I say they can, I'm not saying they will. I'm saying they can sell it at the 149 price. So if you have one at your local hobby shop, ask them. Worst thing they can say is no. Well, of course, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging with no type of running video on this thing. So I'm gonna do a couple of passes. You guys can see what it's like. Oh man, this thing is so sweet. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at how clean that is. I wanted to take a shot of it inside so you guys can see the headlights. The headlights are super sweet. They're like a hyper white. Holy smokes, the stance. 
This thing looks amazing. Here's the battery we're using today. We're not doing any like time passes, but this battery should be really, really good. It's more of like a shorty pack, so I had to put the big old foam spacer in there, but I'll put a link in the description below. Oh man, that thing is awesome. So before I go into my overall review, for full transparency, the only thing I have to compare this to is the drag slack, so bear with me. However, the first thing I noticed right off the bat that this thing has a crap ton of power. Like even when I just pulled out of my driveway, I probably went half throttle and I lost control. Like it, it has a lot of power. It will definitely break the tires loose anytime you get close to that top of the throttle. <laughs> the other thing you'll notice right off the bat is there's no active vehicle control. That is Spectrum's essentially like traction control and keeping it straight keeping the car in a straight line it's like a gyro inside the car that's not in this car however i think it's better that way it makes it more of a driver's car with drag racing you're not supposed to have a gyro gyros are more for the people who are beginners that hop on a hop in an rc car and just want to pull the throttle and go it keeps the car in a straight line that we can drive it straight down the road with that said i do think it would be nice to have that active vehicle control or avc on brake every time i made a pass whenever i was going to slow down it was almost kind of sketchy like i wasn't sure if it was going to spin around i wasn't sure if it was going to flip over one time i actually hit the curb like it would be nice to have it on brake however knowing you don't have it on brake you just have to be a little more careful whenever you decelerate after your pass now with all that power the tires are slightly smaller than what i've seen on the drag slash they're not as wide that's not necessarily a bad thing that's less rotating mass but obviously you don't catch as much traction so almost every pass that i did i blew the tires off but that makes it more of a driver's car and that's what i'll say about this car i feel like it's better for your raw racer especially what i want to do making this msm list racing thing where we're going to basically be racing rtr drag cars it requires the driver to be more of a racer it requires more driver than power when you're drag racing which i really really like and i think will make for way better racing but i hope you liked this video guys if you did smash the like button subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see